Howdy, howdy, and how do you do, and welcome back to some Crucible 10 Peglin Edition, where dreams, yes, we're grabbing Enhanced Gunpowder. I seem to always grab Enhanced Gunpowder if it's one of the first relics offered to us, and usually those runs don't end the greatest for us either, but, uh, we'll find out. This one's going to be different. It's always a little different, right? We can't always fail every time we grab the enhanced gunpowder first. It opens us up to getting new free relics. Um, let's go ahead and try to get more money. We're at 32 gold. Let's look at the map real quick. There's a shop down here that I think will go two relic, I mean two elites back to back. A lot of fights that will give us some space to get um, to get a hold of some. Oh, what are they called? A uh, Bobathan orb. That is what we're looking for. A little Bobathan action. No Bobathan here. We'll just continue on with our money and carry it on. We'll just keep carrying our money. No elites in sight. Fireballs. No, thank you. Keep going right. Please give us a Bobathan after this fight, I suppose. You don't have to give it to us during the fight, even if that was possible. If it was possible, then yes, I would appreciate it if you just gave us a Bobathan pretty quick and easy, but I guess I can wait for after the fight if you insist. If you do insist on me waiting till after the fight, I guess we will make that happen. I didn't necessarily want to hit that bomb until everything spawned and then as I say that I go and target the other bomb completely ignoring everything I was questioning recombobulator would be nice I do enjoy recombobulator because that would make our bombs refresh as you can tell when we trigger a bomb because there's a bomb here bomb down here bomb here and bomb over here and they're not back since we did trigger them once and that is the case. Still no Bob Orb. We'll continue on. We'll grab the free relic. I'm sure uh, we'll get improved catalyst instead of another refresh. Call me dum dum. Use your satchel to catch the stones. I don't want three more stones. I just want a Bobathan. I wouldn't mind losing some stones if it wants to offer that. Guess if you really want to strengthen our stones, no Bobathan up there, so we'll take the stronger stones. We kind of need stronger stones if we're going to fight two elites back to back, so for now, I will accept that relic. Probably did save the run a little bit with that relic, but we're not going to tell the game that. We don't want it to have that big of a head by any means. We want it to stay humble. And kind like the great um, what's his name Tim McGraw said stay humble and kind if you don't know there's a song called humble I think is what it's called yeah, I think it's just humble by Tim McGraw there is so one of my close my parents really good friends that I've known since uh, birth and their kids would always be called our cousins but they're just really good friends with my family. Uh, the dad, my so my cousin's dad, that's not really related to us anyway. It's just what we've always been calling them. I think we'll take the upgrade. There's no more shops, so might as well start upgrading our stones, at the very least, so we at least have one strong stone going into these elite fights. But their dad looks just like, here's a pig bag make up for not grabbing that bandana looks just like Tim McGraw before Tim McGraw got uh, a hair transplant thing whatever it's called where he uh, what are they called hair oh whenever you're going bald you can get um, I it's not hair transplants but it's like, um, maybe it is hair transplants. 
But you can get it on your hair, on your head, and it like, your hair grows back. Or at least new hair grows there. And Tim McGraw did that, so now Tim McGraw has a full head of hair. And now they don't look too much alike anymore, but before that, they looked quite a lot alike. And a lot of times whenever we went to amusement parks as kids, uh, there would always be at least one person that would always refer to him or stop him asking if he's Tim McGraw and want to get a picture, we're grabbing the perfected reactant for sure. So now we're really set up for some bombs. If they would, wouldn't mind just giving it to us. I wish I didn't skip the stone, but that crit just looked a little bit too juicy there. And that crit looked juicy too. But obviously I need to stop uh, getting catfished by crits. They just are too good looking sometimes and I can't help but try to go for them. What a gross spot for all these refreshes that we have. Don't you think these refresh spots are just disgusting? And it goes over there? Come on now, you could do better than that. Yeah, we're gonna go down here. The level 2, 84 damage isn't bad. 70 damage does the trick. No Bob Orb still. And Terror Resting will take the heals instead. Oh, Hero's Backpack does sound nice damage wise, but Popping Corn sounds a little bit better with healing. With the Perfected Reactant, I think it will pan very well. If I go for question marks, that will give us a higher chance of. Ooh, another bomb. Come on, right, 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 right. No. I guess we'll take the complex claw. We almost had like the perfect bomb within builds. We'll keep spreading love. I would rather spread the love than not. We have zero piercing ability. I'd almost rather just throw you out there and waste you. I'd rather throw you out there and waste you. Thank you for hitting the refresh at the very least. I wouldn't mind just, ooh, not necessarily wasting you, but throwing you out there. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. now that was a beefy little hit that we did there, Stone. Can you guys do that again on repeat? Okay, now we have zero refreshes. Not a great spot for all of our refresh locations. I'm not too thrilled, but we managed. We did manage to succeed. I kind of don't want to throw you either, but we kind of need to. Kind of hoping we'd hit a refresh somewhere along the lines. I don't want to bank on hitting the crit. Maybe I should have banked on, well, even if I banked on the crit, it wouldn't have worked. We at least lit the bomb up. And then we can bounce up, hit the refresh. Say goodbye to the tree. Now you have nowhere to hide, Mr. Mole. You can't hide from us anymore. Not shabby. You offer me a bold orb. Guess we'll take the bold orb for now. Because we have to have some kind of pierce going into this next section. Kinetic Meteorite, I think I'd rather have. Sapper Sack, no thank you. Glorious Suffering isn't bad if we had the gift that keeps on giving with it, but we don't. So I think we'll just take Kinetic Meteorite. Yes, we have three refreshes on the board. Yeah, so it's going to be nullified often because once you hit a refresh, it doesn't have the explosive, explosive power anymore, but it's fine. Boom, nice work. Bold orb, can you do the same? No. You'd even take him out? Okay, we gotta increase our damage up a little bit. Unless it offers us a little bit of bold orb with a recombobulator action going on, I'd be fine with that as well. It would love to do something along those lines. Dang. 
just hit the refresh and call it good. Still no a bully ball. We have no self damage. We have a doctor, but I don't care about doctor either. Ooh, okay. Now the question is free relic shop shop. That would be one, two, probably not. One shoot. We have 73. So in theory, we upgrade our bold orb so it's a little bit more practical. We head to the left. We take this shop. We grab another fresh bandana, so another refresh. No fight, no bob orb. We have to go left here. Yes. Now we can't do anything at this shop. If there was a bully ball, that would be perfect. We'll get rid of the dag orb. It's not helpful to us. Now we take two fights on. I think we'll do, we'll lose a lot of health. Ah, oh, bless. Be nice to me, please. We'll lose more health. Lose more health. Okay. We're not in the best of situations here, but... Hmm, what do we want to do here? We collected all the money. Why didn't we get a move like that the first time around? I don't know. You tell me. I think we save our money. We save our money. We have popping corn for extra healing if need be. We save our healing. Ugh, no. We're skipping the level one stone. We have to do enough damage here. I don't want to lose more health by any means. If you start hitting some of these bombs, I'd probably be a little bit happier. That will work. Bold orb so far away. Because if we can get a bold orb going here, that could take out everything in our path. No, that's not enough damage, is it? Oh, it is. Ooh, look how much health we gained too. Um, 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 well, we can't afford to get rid of another orb. So maybe we just upgrade one and then continue on to the shop. Thank you. Go to this shop. Still no Bob orb. I feel like at this point I might be forcing it a little too hard. Refillibuster is good. And we're going to go towards this elite fight here. Come on, stay on the right side, please. Thank you. Who is our final boss? It's piercings. And it's a piercing boss. All right, we're in a sticky situation, but not an impossible situation. We didn't even take out the shield, so there's that aspect to the world that we're living in today. Do at least 250 damage. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for listening to my questions, comments, and concerns. We are maximizing our healing potential. We're going to take some damage to you, but our bold orb is going to be front and centaur. Good hit. Did at least 200 damage. We're not going to lose any more health from the guy in the back line. And then we throw you out there and hope for the best. And we're back up max HP. Moving on with our lives. There's our Bob Orb. There it is. There she lies. Another crit. Or refreshing punch. More crits. Or refreshing punch. I think more crits if we have complex claw. Refreshing punch is a very good relic, but we need some kind of pure short fuse is nice. So now we can go. I missed. I can't believe I missed. We had a free relic right 
there. Decoy orbs, fine. We don't need more refreshes. Place an orb on the altar. Yeah, I wouldn't mind refreshing the docked orb. I mean the bolt bob orb, but until we get recombobulator, we don't need more than one bob orb. Because without that, it's going to be extremely hard. We need the recombobulator. If the game does not care, I wouldn't mind having the recombobulator thrown at us. I was kind of hoping you would hit that crit. But check this baby out. Boom. And it does damage. Oh, yes. Producing bombs. I think now's the time where we upgrade our stones and hope for the best going forward. How are we going to beat this boss? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, obviously we start with you, for one. Because you'll get rid of the guy in the back line. Bombs are going to be our saving grace, and we got rid of two of them. Oh, we're going to skip you and go strong orb here. 75 damage per bomb hit though is pretty good. We are out of bombs now. Our bull bob orbs down at the bottom, but fortunately we have two. Well, we just hit a bomb, so we can throw our next stone as well. Yeah, we can throw our next stone, then we have a bold orb, then we have a bob orb. So I think we're gonna be sitting a little pretty here. Don't hit that refresh. Keep that one for our bobathon. You hit it. I mean, our boar, old orb, old orbithin. Electropagnet's definitely helping us tremendously here. Hit that crit, please. Thank you. Big refresh. Now, oh, Bobby. Pop off, Bobby. Mmm. Bobbathan, you are just delightful. You are simply remarkable. You tempt me with a good time here. But... You tempt me with a good time. Why offer me that? Why that then there now? Um, 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 um. I don't think we need Wand of School to make Greed. We don't need Cursed Mask. Sealed Conviction. Maybe if we had Amidectionary, that would be fine. I don't want to be limited. Ugh. Oh, Mantle is just a little too OP. I'm not looking for OP here. I'm looking for a good time, not a long time. Maybe we do do... Sealed Conviction. We'll do Sealed Conviction, plus two, plus two. Now our Bob Orb does plus two, plus three. It's essentially a stone. Starting with you, a 611. Old Orb's not bad. We just one-shot everything. No, we didn't. I forgot we're in Crucible levels. So this is a little bit higher on, a, on the health scale. But we're not collecting much money. As you can tell. Uh, we can at least afford an upgrade. We'll upgrade you. Move down. Go to the free relic. Am a dictionary. Look at that. There we go. Free relic. Uh, I guess molten gold. I'm fine with not having a... Uh, Don't want you either. Believe it or not. Eh, well. Brain received the power. We have strong stones as it is. I don't really want you necessarily, but we at least have skipping abilities, which is going to be helpful. Like here, uh, the Orbalisk will be completely useless on this map because we can't target anything on it. Bob Orb early on is going to be great. It should be able to pop off a little bit once. Boom. 
It's a 2 3. Ah, oh, so good. Look at all these bombs it's producing. Ah, oh, such a good orb. And this should shut down uh, everything. Except for you in the back. Just in case. There is something still alive. This will shut down anything. Well, shut down everything. A level 3 warp hammer you offer us? We don't care about a level 3 warp hammer. Orbalisk is good against bold orbs now. It also increases with every bold orb in our deck, which is very helpful. Prime Rod of Frost, extremely helpful. Okay, now I think the game's, the game's feeling sorry for gi giving us such a hard time. Now it's feeding us everything we need to succeed fully and thoroughly. Easy peasy. Ah, oh, so good. And you ask me why am I not leveling up the Bob Orb? Because the level ups doesn't really change too much. Instead of every eight pegs, it's six pegs. It's not bad. But granted, it is better than getting this one because we're not going to have another Orbalisk, I don't think. I wish Escape was the back button. What's the map look like? Well, yeah, I guess we'll take the upgrade because we're going to fight this elite. I guess we don't have to fight this elite and we can go for this elite in that shop. Yeah, we'll go left instead. We'll upgrade the Bob Orb, make it sure it's good. We'll go left and then left again and then left again. To secure the success. I wish we didn't hit that refresh there, but we still did enough damage. I can't target off that, so I won't throw you. Perfecto Patronum. Well, that wasn't great. You don't have to hit the bombs. We're doing enough damage without hitting the bombs that you don't have to hit the bombs. Matt, your Armshka, you are a you are a tricky one now. You offer us Matt your Armshka. I want to go left. We need to go left. It's not a want. The need at this point. No, it was a need. We had to go left. Now all of our plans are ruined. Completely foiled. That is so sad. Now we can't fight an elite. I'm not going this route because this route could at least give us an elite. That's so upsetting. Why can't you have all three routes here? Why can this route right here have two options and this one only has one option to get to it? That's annoying. Maybe it's saving us from something. Saving us from imminent failure. In it? In it? I don't think I said the word right. Imminent failure. Failure. Imminent failure. Well, I'm not going to upgrade you. I'm just going to keep... Well, I don't know why I went left necessarily. I need to go well right necessarily. Another crit? Yeah, we'll take another crit. I don't care. <laughs> We have as many crits and as many refreshes as we can possibly get. Remove an orb, please. Not all orbs. You know, a smart man would probably get rid of our Bob Orb. Because if I get rid of a stone, our orb list gets weaker. So call me crazy. We're getting rid of Bold Orb. Call me crazy for getting rid of the bold orb. We have quite a bit of healing. I don't think we need this special relic that cuts our health in half. But we'll probably run away. The popping corns kept us alive this far. I can imagine. I guess we'll take the free upgrade. Does it 
Oh, well, it makes an 815. So it does upgrade it somewhere. Makes it a little stronger. Apple a day, I suppose. Well, that was a big letdown. All those question marks were nothing. Ooh, starting with the Bulldor? The Bobby? Starting with old Bobbathan, eh? You wanted to start us off on the right foot, I see. Nice. Now that is a stone. That is an orb. That is well desired and well liked around the known universe. Dang it. Bold orb time? This is why I got rid of the other bold orb. Well, okay, this one's producing a this one's doing a little bit better than I anticipated they did. Usually they bounce right out. And guess what? This is why I kept this thing going. Because now it's gonna smack down on them both. Well, it didn't do that much damage. But now we have a stone that can do pierce. It's gonna pierce through them both. It didn't really take it out. Oh, Bobathan, you're taking it out. Beautiful. Thank you, Bobby. Now that is how to make a orb work. Honestly, that was probably one of the easiest Cruise Ball 10s that we've had. I didn't really have to... I made a lot of not really impactful relic decisions because I really forced this bomb build going. But we finally got the Bob Orb over halfway through the game. I mean, I don't think the Bob Orb really changed or anything, but it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to talking with you all on the flippity flop. Eh, don't know if I like that ending, but I said it. I'm not going to change it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. <laughs> Bye.